Hello, Scorpio. Welcome back to my channel. We're doing your next 48. This is going to be episode February 2, 2, and 2, 3 for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about personal readings, you can check the description box below the video. Everything you need is there, all right? All the info you need is right there, I promise. All right, it's going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what energy comes out for you. Scorpio. Okay, let's see. Your overall energy, we have the death card, okay? It came up in reverse. We're going to leave it the way it was, but the deck is upside down. But we have the death card in reverse. So this is, this is, your, here you are, this is your card, but I'm getting you are refusing to change or you're not allowing something to change or, you know, you're not undergoing, you don't want something, you don't want to undergo something. I'm getting to you're having a hard time letting something or someone go. This could be someone who passed. All right, let's see. We have the four of pentacles. Yeah, you're holding on to, you're holding on to the way something ended or you're holding on to like, you're holding on that something changed. Maybe you don't like the change. Okay, the, the Queen of Swords. So it, it could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aqua, Aries. Okay, maybe this person is changing on you. Or maybe, I'm getting to somebody could be pregnant, and you know, they're, 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 you know their body is changing, their belly is getting bigger, and things like that. You don't. Know, maybe you're like, hmm, looks weird. All right, but I'm getting you're like upside down over someone. Like you, you know. Let's see, the Ten of Swords. That's, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting you're devastated about whatever this air sign did to you, whatever they said to you. I'm getting to someone's flat out ignoring you. Okay, you're the uh, the king of the king of pentacles. And then we have the 5 of swords. I'm getting too like it's about spending somebody's uh, somebody's overspending or someone spending too much money. It's also too about you providing for someone. Let's, let's see. What is the death card in reverse? We have the full card. Yeah, I'm getting you don't want to, <clears throat> excuse me, you don't want to let something go. You actually want to start over. You actually want to give it a second try. I'm, I'm also getting to you don't want, you don't want something to change. So I'm, I'm getting like mixed signals here. Like I'm getting this air sign. It's like they don't want to change, but they want to do something new. Because it's like we have the dead card in the reverse and then we have the full card. So it's like. It's kind of opposite energies. All I know is that you don't want something to end. You don't want to let go of somebody. You don't want it to end yet. You don't want to move on from this person. What's the four of pentacles? I'm getting an air sign. Yeah, I'm getting you're holding on to them. All right, let's see. Okay, the three of pentacles. It could be someone holding on to you, an earth sign. So it could be someone at your job, maybe your boss or someone that's uh, beneath you or that you feel that, that you feel is beneath you. Okay, they want to take a chance on you. Or I'm getting you don't want to do that. You don't want to change what you're already doing or you don't want to change the way you're working. I'm getting too like you're holding on to a job because it's comfortable. You're you're kind of afraid to leave it. It's all you know. It's, it's what you're comfortable with. You've been there forever. All right, I'm getting you don't want to do something new. You don't want to say something. What's the Queen of Swords? This could be regarding communication. It could be a new role or a new speaking job. You just, you, I'm getting you have stage fright. It could be your first speaking role or your first time being in front of an audience. Okay, what's the Queen of Swords? Yeah, the devil. Interesting. So this could easily be somebody, this could easily be your work. Maybe you are a workaholic. You don't want to step outside your comfort zone, though, and do something new. I'm getting you want something new, but you don't really, you don't really have the motivation to actually do it. But you do think about it. What's the full card? It's like you don't know how to let the something die first, or you don't know how to let something in before you can do something new. Yeah, I'm also getting two. You're starting a third party. Before you're ending something else. Okay, what's the full card? We have the three of swords. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting someone is getting their heart broken here because 
I mean, you're, this is an, there's an earth sign here around you. Could be a Capricorn that's getting their heart broken because you have a third party. Or you're, you know, you're breaking somebody else's heart for this other person. What's the, what's the three of pentacles? So I'm getting you, I'm getting you, you're trying to have your cake and eat it too. You don't want to let go of neither person. Okay, the the higher fine. Yeah, I'm getting. I'm getting. You don't want to let. You don't want to let go of your uh, of your commitments. I'm getting you're committed to your commitments here. This could be your job, an institution. Okay, you've been doing it for so long. You, you're committed to this. Is what you do. It's what you know. It's what you're comfortable with. This could also too be a relationship. I'm getting too like you kind of choose this over love. Maybe maybe somebody is heartbroken that you want to stay in this position even though they don't get to spend time with you. You guys do the same old thing. Okay, what's the devil card? Okay, the tower. Okay, so something is falling apart. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting like somebody is, you know, breaking up with you or someone is like, I don't know. It's like you're broken hearted or you're breaking somebody's heart because you're doing something new without telling this person or without consulting them or you're ending something prematurely. I'm getting it's a breakup. What's the three of swords, please? Yeah, the nine of wands. I'm getting you've just had enough. I'm getting to you could be dealing someone with someone who's very hurtful, who's very insensitive, and I'm getting you just you just can't fight anymore. You feel defeated, you feel beat up, you want something new, you want to change. This person's not willing to change for you or change what they're doing or change their behavior, change their habits. And I'm getting that it's causing a breakup here. You're gonna you wanna do what's best for you. You're tired of being hurt, you're tired of being sad. Okay, what's the ten of swords? We have the queen of the king of cups. So it looks like this person betray betray your trust with uh betray your trust with a water sign, okay? Because here you are, you're, okay. This is also you, okay. But I'm getting there's a okay. What's what's the King of Pentacles doing? Okay, the judgment. Yes, yeah, so I'm getting I'm getting you're giving somebody at your at your workplace a second chance. You're gonna you're gonna try to build something with this person, a new foundation with somebody that you work with. They could be younger, All right, But I'm getting it's an earth sign. I'm, I'm getting you really don't want to change. You really don't want something new, but you're going to take a chance because you're just fed up with this situation. This has to come to an end, definitely. Okay, but I'm getting you're, you're giving a job a second chance or you're giving a person at that job a second chance or an earth sign. Okay, what is the, what's in between these two people? Yeah, I'm getting too like somebody's a big flirt. They flirt with people. They have people on the side. They betray your trust more than once with this person. Okay, let's see. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting, you're getting together with this earth sign. You guys are speaking, there's communication, it's chemistry. It could possibly be love. You're falling in love with this person. All right, what's the Five of Swords? I'm getting, you think this person is, is the best thing for you. All right, so I'm getting, you're breaking up with a Capricorn or an air sign to be with this earth sign or somebody with this type of energy, someone who's a, you know, somebody who, you know, you can build with. What's the Five of, uh, five of Swords? Yeah, we have the Knight of Swords and then we have the uh, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm getting you're moving on quickly. Yeah, you're going to do what's best for you. Something might, you might get triggered and tr just move on very quickly, make a rash decision to reach out to somebody else. I'm getting immediately after you break up with this person, though, you're calling this other person to tell them what happened, to deliver the news. Yeah, we broke up. It's over. Okay, what's the Ace of Pentacles? I'm getting you're, you're offering something to this person now. I'm getting you confide in this, you confide in this person quite a bit. What's the Ace of Pentacles? Or you have told them quite a bit about what's going on here. Okay. You talk about things with this person. Okay. We have the Ace of Wands. Yeah. There's a lot of chemistry between you and this person. A lot of communication. It's chemistry. All right. I'm getting to there's a sexual attraction here. There's a lot. There's a there's a lot of sparks between you and this person here. All right. A lot of butterflies in your stomach. Okay. What's the Tower card, please? Yeah, so I'm getting something is over here. Something is coming to an end. I'm getting it's been very toxic. It's been a, it's been a hassle. Somebody makes you feel small, belittles you. They're very insensitive to your ideas, what you want to do new. What's the full card? But I'm getting someone down here listens to you. They understand you. They're there when you need them. Okay, what's the full card? Okay, we have the six of swords. Yeah, you want to move on. I'm getting two. You want to relocate, and somebody else does not want to do that. They don't want. They don't want you to relocate, or they don't want you traveling for work. I'm getting you want to. You want to relocate. You do want to travel for work. You want to get away. I'm getting you want to move away from this person. 
I'm getting you are. Okay, let's see. I'm getting somebody down here is helping you do so. That they're, they're there to talk to. This could be a parent as well. What's the tower energy? We have the star card, hope. Okay. And what is the, what is the star card and the tower together? Yeah, the, okay, so we have an Aquarian showing up. So this is this could be an Aquarius that you're breaking up with. Okay, or a Capricorn, but I'm getting this is about, yeah, I'm getting, you, you're really pissed at this person. You guys are arguing. There's a lot of words being said, harsh words. Okay, definitely nothing loving coming from you, from you guys. I'm getting, you got, you're arguing. You're pissed at this person. It's a huge blow up. But I'm getting, there is someone down here that, down here to calm you. You feel very betrayed. Okay. So I'm getting you're telling this person the news. You're telling this person what's going on. All right. We have the title card here. Okay, yes. Yeah, so I'm getting your status is changing. This could be a relationship status or a job status. You're, I'm getting you're moving on in your work as well. You're moving on with a job or something new, a new, new position, a new career, a new house. All right, I'm getting you're just moving on. You're moving away. You're doing something new. You're doing what's best for you, what's in your best interest. Okay, we have the title card, the Ace of Swords. Yeah, definitely a new job, a new contract, a new role. Okay, a new position. Something new is coming in, a new idea. I'm getting to a patent patent pending or copywriting something here. And we have the Page of Wands. Yeah, good news. I'm getting you're getting an email. You're celebrating. You're reconciling with someone. I'm getting you're dating, some, you're dating this person. It's going well. They could be younger, but they're vibrant. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'm getting a lot of good things are coming into you once you walk away from whatever this is that was toxic. All right, so good things are coming in for you. All right, Scorpio, so I hope this helps you. Don't forget to like the video. Okay, leave your comments and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.